In this video, I will be showing you how to group records in Airtable's grid view based on the dates, week or month. So in this particular table, we have a field called expected close date. Um, you can already group these records based on the date if any fall on the same date. However, as you can see, all of these um, fall in a different on a different date, which is not very useful for a group. So what we want to do is actually create a second field and make this one a formula. You can name it however you want. And we are going to use the date time uh, format field in order to change the way that this date uh, is formatted. So say we wanted to group these records based on the month that uh, this date falls in. So we have the date field. We're going to go ahead and use that as the first value of this formula. And then we need to use the specifier that we would most make most sense for this particular grouping. So um, for this case, we're going to use the month. To use the full month's name, we use all four M's. And then we use all four Y's for the year. And we close our function off. We save that. And that is going to give us the month and year for our grouping. And then all we need to do is just group based on this calculated field. And you'll see that all of the records are going to fall under their month. You can also do things uh, like use the quarter uh, or the uh, week of the year for this, um, which are a little more fancy. And we'll let you explore, but we're going to link below the, uh, spe uh, the list of specifiers for this so that you can um, easily see how to kind of create those um, formatting uh, f formulas to your specific needs. So as you can see, we've got month here, we've got the quarter of the year, we've got the day of the years, and you kind of just um, kind of add these together to create the exact uh, format that makes sense for your particular field and in your particular use case. So you can do seconds, you can use timestamps, um, so on and so forth. So this will be linked with the video uh, to help you navigate your particular use case. So this has been how to group records based on a date in Airtable's grid view. Stay tuned for the next video.